Hi. Hello everybody. So this is a test. I've got a little action camera. I've never really used. I'm not really comfortable walking down the street, talking to a camera on a on a sort of um, handle thing because it feels a little bit pretentious, like I'm trying to be something that I'm not. Um, so. I've never really done it, so I'm going to give it a try, see how it works, see if my camera skills work okay when I'm walking along like this, and to see whether the actual video comes out any better than when I'm just using it on my little iPhone. So here we go, this is just a test, and uh, this may not even get onto, onto my channel, if it does, if it does, then you'll know I was fairly pleased with it and think it worked okay. If it doesn't, don't matter because you'll never see it. I'll just delete it off. But I decided, seeing as though it was a short or sort of fairly um, quiet day from a football perspective, that I was just going to do a bit of a waffle as I'm walking around, just to see, like I say, just to see whether this works or not. And what I thought I'd talk about today, as I'm walking along, is the transfer window, but from the other perspective of outgoings. And I know I, talked to, I did a video about this recently, but that was about specific specific players and what I was hoping for for those specific players but what I was kind of thinking about today was the overall situation with how many players we've currently got how many of them are still um, within the squad and why it's gone so quiet and I know the window has a while to go yet before before it closes off and a lot of work is done towards the end of the season at uh, the window obviously but it's just be quite strange how quiet it is but I think that's fairly quiet for everybody and I'm thinking about so I'm thinking about players that we may have almost kind of forgotten about about what we're going to do about it because when you think about it, I haven't heard anything about Winks at all. So I'm wondering, is he still in and around the squad? Is there still a part for him to play? Which doesn't seem likely. And you would have thought that he would really want to be able to get out and get playing again to regain his... Um, Form or his minutes under his belt so that he can kind of try to push for an England, uh, uh, an England recall. I'm wondering if that may be the sticking point that Premier League clubs aren't coming in for him. He doesn't want to take a drop down too far. Which would make sense if you was him. Because you've got to believe now, to be successful, and he's been successful, he's played Premier League football, right? He's played in the Champions League, he's played against Messi. He would want to, he would want to believe that he's good enough to be able to play in the top league. So for me, I'm thinking, why don't he do what, like, Smalling and Abrahams did? Go to Italy or somewhere like that. If he can get into a team, I mean, even Trippier, you know, I know Atletico were a, a big team in Spain. But there must be other teams around that level or in that, in that mix, I guess, that would be interested in taking him on. It would make sense, right, to go there. Because surely he's got a better chance of playing for England again by showing his quality in a, in a better league than maybe picking up a 
a position for Bournemouth or Forest or someone, you know, Everton, someone who's, you know, with all due respect to those clubs, expecting to struggle, expecting maybe to go back down again, you know? So that kind of sprung into my mind about that. Why would he not consider that? And maybe he is. But it's all really, really quiet, isn't it? Really, really quiet. So, I don't, you know, Joe Roden obviously has, has gone off to Wren, which I think is a bit of a I don't know, I spoke about this the other day. So I may be repeating myself, but like I say, this is a t test video. Um, he's gone off to Wren. Obviously, from his point of view, he wants to play football ahead of the World Cup. So it makes perfect sense. And that's why I'm thinking a similar thing for, for someone like Winks, you know, who must be wanting to get off that way. You know, he must believe in himself to a certain extent. And if he doesn't, maybe that's where he's going wrong. You know, not believing in his own ability. But, I don't know, time will tell, time will tell. I don't think, I don't think players like Emerson, Doherty, Agavik, Doherty's the expected right wing back. With Emerson as a backup and Spence as someone to develop, that's how I see it. And I know that's not really what a lot of fans want to hear, because obviously they want a new person in that position. And I'm not saying that I'm don't, because I'd love to see a real quality player on the right hand side. And I'm not sure yet if Doherty is going to be able to, to fulfil that. Be interesting to see if he does, because he has shown signs. And like I said before, before we signed Aurier, I thought that Doherty was showing improvement. Then he got injured. Aurier came in, and then he's been you know, in and out ever since. But just when he started to really get some form back, he was playing at left wing back, and then he gets injured again, which is really disappointing. But I, I get it, it is what it is. He is where he is. Skip, obviously, they have um, great expectations for him, but hearing again that he's injured, big cut on his foot, Bissouma also injured um, after covering back from Covid which is why that he seems to have struggled slightly in terms of pre-season where he's going. Doesn't seem to have um, caught up with the others, with the other people that have come in in terms of showing some quality. So that's a a bit of a shame because lots of people were calling for him to come into the team because he he showed real quality when he was at Brighton. So people have big expectations, big expectations of him. But he's not been able to show it just yet in the pre-season because of the COVID. Maybe, maybe that's what's holding him back. But if he's injured again, that means he's unlikely to start, which, which kind of puts him back even more trying to play catch up so yeah that's a bit it's a bit of a disappointment for him for sure because he would have wanted to have broken into the team but for me I still think Benton Core is absolute quality I like him a lot and I think in the last game he showed that he can push forward and do some of that creative stuff but there you go such is life. Anyway, this is just a short video just to test that this is working to see how it goes. The other question I get is how is it picking up the wind? Because I can hear wind in my ears, even with headphones in. So I guess it'll be interesting to see whether this camera's picking up all that noise. Because if it does, then it kind of makes it a bit of a no-no in those, um, in these kind of walking videos. So I'll be sticking to my iPhone. Anyway, if this video does actually get into my YouTube channel, please do give me some feedback. 
about the quality or not of this video, of how it looks, how it sounds, whether it's better than the iPhone or not. So I'd be interested to know what you think. Maybe this will just be one of those cameras that you use when you're in the stadium, just kind of out of your pocket, small and discreet, that you can kind of whiz around. Because like, you guys are looking at me, but with my iPhone, it's quite difficult to just turn it around and show you what I'm looking at. But with this, I can kind of just go, this is where I'm walking, and that's that bloody hill. It's going to half kill me in a minute. I'll be sweating my nuts off, and struggling. Oh. It's all for good calls. Let's get this, let's get this belly down. Up the spurs.